Though it's known as the most wonderful time of the year, for some it may be the hardest time of the year. As our local news reporter Amber Stidham has more on holiday depression and how to prevent it. Tis the season to be jolly. While the holidays are a time to celebrate with family and friends, for some it's empty. Yeah, it does uh, lead to depression and things like that. Um, it's a hard time for people, but uh, you got to make it as joyous as possible. And to do just that, Manatee Glen's community programs director Kathy Wilson says before anything else, make a plan. Um, just think about um, what you'd like to do, what you don't want to do, stick with that. Uh, make sure you keep a routine, and that includes exercise, sleeping, you know, um, the required amount that you need. You, everyone knows what they need. Um, making sure that um, you don't overcommit. Wilson adds prioritizing and taking time for yourself is key to creating less stress. But this time of the year can be even more emotional for those who have recently lost a loved one. I mean, do you like to read a book? Do you like to go to the beach? Do you um, uh, like support group? I mean, there could be support groups out there. Um, you might have lost somebody um, during the holidays. Um, and then that for the holiday brings it up again or um, not even losing someone during the holidays, but you know you're going to be around everybody that you love and there might be someone missing from that equation. The holidays can really remember those that you love passed away. Do you see how fast I can feel it? I'm thinking about my mother and my grandmother. And when you think about those you love, and that you lost your wife, your former wife, you begin to feel emotional. While it's normal to express feelings and grieve if it's interfering with the day-to-day -day schedule, Wilson recommends reaching out to get help, including local support groups. Even though we're depressed, say there's some hope and look at ourselves and say there's another day to give someone else a little smile, a little feeling that they're thought of. Reporting in Bradenton, I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News.